everybody, welcome to Ironside Gaming, welcome to the new show, ISG Daily, where we discuss whatever is kind of on our mind for the day. Of course, I'm Drew Bosley, joining alongside me as always, the one and the only, Nathan Quinn. Nate, what's happening? Not too much, buddy, just going to discuss what we've been playing lately. That's basically it. Hey, there wasn't a lot of hot news happening today, so I was kind of like, eh, well, bother. I'm not going to bother. There was, there was a rumor of a new SNES classic coming. That'd be kind of cool. But besides that, I didn't really see too much <laughs> yeah. out there. I didn't get any emails. I didn't get anything special today. So I thought, well, you know what? We've been playing a bunch. So let's talk about what we're up to. What have you been playing? Well, as per usual, I've been playing For Honor. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like, yeah. whenever I have some time, I hop on that multiplayer for a bit. Yeah, sure. Just to check out their updates, because I know they've been kind of putting some patches up to try and help the servers and whatnot and yep. make people want to keep playing it, because I know they've... You got a lot of work really to do. scared off a huge chunk of people. A lot of people, you know, are really upset with them. So they lost a lot of fan service with those servers, man. Which is typical. And, and the reaction, like the people were complaining and then they weren't acknowledging them. So it's like, like Ubisoft, what are you doing? You can't go in, the, in this day and age. You can't go complete silence, right? No. Twitter, Facebook, whatever is out there. There's so much social media stuff. You have to be there for the fans and support them. And like honestly, for me especially, like I love good customer service. When I get a phone call back from a restaurant I call or wherever, yeah. or that someone kind of goes that extra step, it really you know puts a good feeling with me, and it's like it makes me want to play it or buy it or whatever, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I've been playing for honor. We've been playing uh, what is it called? Which one? Sexy Brutal. Sex. Yeah, which we'll have our review up next week on the Sexy Brutal. And yeah, I've been playing that. It's pretty cool. Nah. <laughs> it was a rough start. <laughs> My goodness, I was frustrated. Well, but now that I've talked to you and you've explained the game to me. It makes more sense, doesn't it? It does make but more it's sense. it's not easy. No, it's not an no. easy game. Not a kid's game at all. No. <laughs> so. Yeah, when someone was watching me play, I'm like, I don't know if you should be here watching this stuff. It's not that bad, but it's kind of yeah. one of those things. <laughs> Anything else to play? Uh, not really. Not like, really, eh? I, every now and then, I'll... I, actually, I did try Resident Evil 7. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Nope. It's so good. Back to the spookies. Oh. Oh. No, this guy. I friggin was terrified man wow, why why go through that because it's awesome <laughs> no. i love being scared and when it can scare me it's like wow that's that's quality right there so i i, I love to hop back more onto it i definitely want to that's definitely a game i'm gonna beat because yeah, it's one of oh my goodness it. it's beautiful Ooh. wow but what about you I do the usual. I always jump in my dailies to Paragon. They have a reward system that every day you're in there, you kind of gain some some rep, some some metal, a whole bunch of whatever things, more skins, whatever you kind of get. So I'm in there every day, gaining that stuff. Man, and again, it's that every three weeks they come back with another hero. Yeah, who's coming up next now? Uh, my they goodness. got some gunslinger. This guy looks incredible. Oh. They had <laughs> They came out. That I just overpowered. I, well, the, oh, yeah, the, she was she was incredible, man. You shoot through you <laughs> sh right through the walls, right, and then you can tag your target, and if your target doesn't die or you don't die, and they're on the other side of the map, you can just hit your alt and you can eliminate them if their health <laughs> so is low cheesy. enough, right? Like it's just so they've been working on buffing her, she, or nerfing her, nerfing her. Sorry, not buffing. Yeah, wrong. wrong. Yeah, she doesn't need any buffing. <laughs> no. So yeah, they're working on nerfing her because she <laughs> she was so overpowered. But yeah, I'm always. Man, Paragon is an incredible yeah. game. I'm not a mobile guy typically, but this one, just, I got sucked in hard. This one's oh, so it's good. It's freaking gorgeous, man. It's, it's gorgeous, so man. Wow. Did you said puberty? Yeah, apparently. Gonna get it? <laughs> <sighs> gonna hit that? They just fell. There we go. <laughs> oh, there they both dropped. <laughs> uh, what else have I been playing? I got full throttle, so I'm working on that. Jumped over onto the Vita as well. So when you bought the PS4 version, it comes. And you can get it on the Vita. Oh, that's great. Man, what Thank a classic. Goodness. Like that's What a classic, right? So we'll have that as well next week. So we get two reviews coming next week, which is good. Uh, baseball, back into baseball again. I'm playing, I'm playing more Road to the Show. I want to keep leveling up my character. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of work, though. <laughs> yeah. right? It's really grindy, but I like it. It's, it doesn't feel grindy because I do enjoy the game so much. But it is. there's a lot to keep going back for 
day in and day out. My son is like beyond me. He, he was, he's played so much of that. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm falling behind, right? <laughs> Uh, besides that, yeah, I jumped into the Sexy Brutale as well. I'm going to get back into that before next week's review because I got stuck on just the second level. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck on the first level. <laughs> so, there's, yeah, there's definitely a lot, a lot to do in that one still. So, yeah, between those two games and my usual Paragon dailies and now the two reviews, I've been pretty busy, and I still jump back into Ghost Recon. I love that game. Oh, yeah. That's that's true. I, I hopped on the other day. That game is awesome. Recon. I love Ghost and the dude just dropped the DLC yeah narco narco road I think it's called so what we, we should jump into that too yeah. that's that game just keeps going there's so much to do I don't feel like I'm ever bored and there's so much to see and I haven't I've haven't seen much of it right compared to what I want to see well I want to actually I want to finish that one that's one I gotta finish but the other day like near the beginning when I first started playing I was 15 hours in I'm 10 missions complete, and I'm 9% done the whole game. I'm like, holy crap, I'm going to be here a while, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's one of those, it's hard to find the time to go back to play these when we are getting these other reviews, but it's good. So when I want that break, man, that's my game to go to right now. Like, as much as I love Paragon and go, going there daily, I'm jumping. My thing I gravitate to the most is going to Ghost Recon. Wildlands is phenomenal. It's one of my favorite games so far this year. What a great co-op game. My it's fun. It could all either go smooth or go to hell in a hurry, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's intense. It is awesome. Anything else we've been playing? I don't think so, huh? I I did play a little Doom. Oh, of course. Uh, of course I did. Yeah. Oh man, ah, my <laughs> game, man. I I was actually I was going through my all my game DVR or whatever, going yeah. through all my old clips. And man, just watching, I hate to say it, sound like I'm boasting, but like I was watching me play and I'm like, oh my goodness, I love this game. You just get some of those moments, right? Oh my goodness. Click. Oh, it's it's just like a perfect, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but perfectly bringing back the old with the new and forming a great game. Like I just, Doom is... Is that your go-to game? So if you go, like, so if I have a bad day, right, there's typically one game I'll gravitate to that I'll just give me half an hour. I can chill out, come back to this, play whatever, and then I'm kind of better, I guess, or feeling good. Is there is there that comfort game for you? Yeah, I'd say between Doom and For Honor, since For Honor's newer, so it's sure. kind of, you know, and it just depends on the mood I'm in. If I'm in a real PvP mood and kind of fighting game mood, then yeah, For Honor for sure. But I don't know, Doom's, I think Doom's probably the staple right now for is me. Is it? Yeah. That's your go-to? Oh. If I'm in one of those moods, PvP is the last thing I'm going to want because I just get frustrated. Yeah. So even with Paragon, there will be moments I'm like, man, I, I don't want to bother with this one. The one I kind of tend to go to is Trials, the old Trials game. Oh, yeah. Trials Evolution on the 360 <laughs> is one of my favorite games. It's backwards compatible, isn't it? Or is it a different one? I don't one? think so. Oh, it must not be No, trials. it's uh, Trials HD, oh, so the so very so first one. Thinking. But yeah, for that one... Evolution was, and then the DLC, man, I, I sunk so much. Yeah, I can't play the extreme levels because I'm not that good, <laughs> but just the first, like, moderate and the medium levels, are, they're so freaking good. That's where I, I'll i just sink a couple hours or a half hour. Just That's my comfort to go back to, and I'll play yeah. that. So I got to turn my old, my 360 is still connected. Uh -huh. So I, got, I go back, and I'll just hop on, and I'll play a couple levels, and I'm like, okay, I'm good, and I'll bounce out, but... Hopefully it'll come back to backwards oh, compatibility. I hope so. I'd hope I so. imagine, man. I'll be awesome. I'd, I'd love that. The new trials. Did you vote for it? You no. can vote. You can go on Xbox and oh, vote for that. games. I should do that. Right? I did that on all the games. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I want these ones back. Yeah. I mean, I don't care if it's one vote, but it's better than nothing. I'd yeah, like man. to. I'd love to. They did Trials Fusion, but they took a futuristic approach. I played crap into that too, but still, my go-to is the Trials Evolution. Should. Yeah, that's cool. I love that game. I think that's about it. Yeah, man. Yeah. That is it for the daily show today. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below what's your go to game and what have you been playing lately. Until next time, I'm Drew Bosley. You can find me on Twitter at 4 Level Gamers. Me, Doomguy Parker 50. We'll see you tomorrow.